as Peter Munya today delivered his State of Devolution address during a full council meeting held here in Nairobi. Munya, who is also the governor for Meru County, outlined the gains made through devolution and the challenges experienced as well with just 77 days to the general election, an election which most governors will be seeking a second term. In the meeting, governors are also expected to elect new officials. Let's uh, just uh, listen to that address made by the chairman of the Council of Governors. Then to set up and establish the CUNG secretariat and to enhance the council, the council of county assemblies in law. The impeachment procedure bill 2016 to clarify the impeachment process and the public participation bill 2016. These bills are crucial as they hold the key to successful devolution. We therefore and the, uh, strongly urge the National Assembly and the Senate to fast track these views, but of obviously also make sure that they don't infringe on the functions of the counties and do not violate uh, the Constitution. Excellency Governors, devolution has emerged as the biggest driver of domestic tourism, both international and local tourism have recently become important in counties' hospitality industry. Since the inception of the new constitution, tourism sites in counties have increased from 401 to, current, uh, to currently 632, while other new sites are being opened every day in the counties. The ingrading and the classification of the hotels done by Tourism Regulatory Authority in 2016 shows a significant increase of vacation hotels and lounges. And lounges. Data collected in 41 counties indicated that 15 hotels and lounges were written five star, 41 as four star, and 53 were written as three star. Tourism has increased by 12% in the year 2016. The accommodation and food services sector has also grown by 15.3% in the same period. Turning to the issue of natural resources, and specifically starting with water, the total number of operational balls in the counties has increased from 4,967 in 2013 to 6,000 6,498 in 2015. 52 additional water dams have been handed across the counties from the previous number, 1,191, 2013, to 1,243 dams. The average distance covered to access water has reduced from 6 0.2 kilometers in 2013 to 2.72 kilometers in 2016. An additional 500,000 households have been connected with the piped water from previous 1.6 million to 2.1 million households. A total of 1,520 1, hospitals, health centers, and dispensaries in 18 counties are connected to balls. Counties in collaboration with the Ministry of Water and Irrigation and Development Partners like JICA have embarked on a project to strengthen the capacity of water service providers to min minimize non-revenue for water. On forests over the last five years, forest cover has increased from 5% to 70% according to Kenya Forest Service annual report. Counties, together with the national government, are working to ensure the constitutional requirement of 10% is achieved. Since 2013, there have been an increase in the number of community forest associations, resulting in increased protection of water towers. The Council of Governors, in partnership with the Kenya Forest Service, has developed 47 forest transition implementation plans This, uh, these plans provide a framework to formally devolve certain forestry functions to the counties. 
On climate change, change counties are working to ensure that climate change is mainstreamed. Uh, climate change mitigation is mainstreamed in the county plans. This is through the development of climate change model laws premised on domesticating the Climate Change Act 2016. Counties like Wajia, Garissa, Kitui, Makweni, and Isulu have also formed county climate change funds. In the education, gender, youth, sports, culture, and social services, county governments have continued to invest in education, youth, gender, and sports in the last three financial years. We have demonstrated this through increase in budgetary allocations, standing at 8.2% of the total county budgets from Kenya shillings 21.41 billion in the financial year 2013-2014 to Kenya shillings 29.6 billion in financial year 2015-2016. On school bursaries, majority of the county governments have established scholarships and bursary funds benefiting secondary, college, and university students. This has ensured the girl child to access education, especially secondary and tertiary level, in marginalized areas, both urban and rural. On early childhood and education, county governments have increased investment in early childhood development and education through the inception of devolved units to a total of Kenya shillings 6.5 billion for the last three financial years. This shows a steady increase of allocation to ECDE from Kenya shillings 1.2 billion in financial year 2013-2014 to Kenya shillings 2.4 billion in financial year 2015-2016. The number of children benefiting from the school funding programs implemented by the counties has peaked at 334,000 277 with 168 and 41 girls and 166. Well, that is uh, the chairman of the Council of uh, Governors, uh, Peter Munya, delivering his state of devolution.